We're back for the second half after a deep Polish law discussion uh, that just would not would not stop. <laughs> you could have just asked. I was intrigued by it. Uh, I was vaguely intrigued. I didn't want to interrupt, but I did want to sit here fuming about it. Be very <laughs> passive aggressive. I've been waiting to bring that back around, Pado. In the most passive aggressive way possible. I'm just saying, you, you're very, very passive aggressive during Kankle. I thought you had some cat passive aggression in Battletech. No, it's like amplified in Kankle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. No, Pondo. I don't feel like I'm very passive aggressive. Now, I'm going to need you to roll 2d6s to see how badly you eject from your mech. <laughs> 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 All oh, right, we're doing the thing, huh? Yeah, I'm still waiting for you guys to pull yourselves together. It'll happen eventually. No, I'm ready. I'm just... yeah, I'm ready. Just waiting for us both to Did roll initiative. Yeah. Very well. Let's roll initiative. Unless you had something you wanted to say to somebody. Uh, I rolled an eleven. Fuck yourself, Jesus. Yep. Um, no, you first. All right, I have uh. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're actually even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's one to one. One, two, three. Now. One, two, three, four. Are people still insisting on Masundere? It's like saying you are what you eat. I would call you a sooner. I'm just calling you very passive aggressive at times. <laughs> yeah, that's that might be true, but I don't think so, Pondo. At times, no, just I disagree completely. Away. Whatever, it's your guys' turn. You're very sarcastically <laughs> passive aggressive. I'm very sarcastic. That's true. What did God, I can't remember what Cotton said now, but it was heart wrenching. You insult people, but in a good way, trying to be funny, and I was like, oh God. Even Cotton thinks I just do nothing but insult people. Fuck. Well, no, you just do nothing but insult me. Ah. You're nice, ah, 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 <laughs> No, you just ah, took shots ah, at me during one of the shows, and then it's like, then you, for some reason, you explain to me, because you're too perfect, Pondo. I can't do it. Like, hey? It's the hat. You never underestimate the powers of the hat. Of the hat. People want to be, like, very crazy when if Bandito dies and I play another character, doesn't wear a hat. I'm not going to wear a hat. I don't even recall what you look like without a hat. Like this. Oh my god. Put the hat back on. No, <laughs> you're you guys know it's your guys' turn, right? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I move without mo move by not moving. Oh, you move by not moving. Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Um. One, two, three, four... We've dealt with all the little dudes now, right? There's no more. Yes, there's one enormous assault vehicle, and that's it. How big is this in relation to these guys that it's next to right now? Is it like uh, ankle height? The How big is Devastator is a very large tank. It's like 80 mm -hmm. tons or something. That's a head, sir. It's only 40 tons. Head, sir? Oh, yeah. right. It's not the other one. It's the one that only has one AC-20. It was Demolisher last Yeah, time. yeah, it was Demolisher. No, yeah, this one isn't very big. In fact, it's very squat and compact. Yeah, that, that Demolisher took a Gauss rifle and we just plinked it off. Go Plink. fuck but yourself. But it's still an AC-20, so scary. You're an AC-20. Damn. To, the, oh, to the heart of your viewers. Oh. Fine. Sometimes they uh, need a little tough love. Your face needs a little tough love, and now it's your guys' turn. Uh, shall I go? It, I don't think it really totally matters at this point. As a run of five. You're wrong. Nothing could matter more. Make sure you don't it doesn't slip, really slip in matter. the water. Anyone Do you can slip see. in the water? Yeah, you went into yes. the depth. If you go in a one or higher, you need to start. That's just a one. It <laughs> just whacked yeah, it. Yeah, still need to roll to <laughs> you make sure you don't fall over. Okay. Um, what do I need to roll? I'm pretty sure it's 
Uh, enter, I want the water hex minus one. So. You did not roll double snake eyes, I'm pretty sure. Okay. How do you roll double snake eyes on two dice? It's cold it's getting two. Don't, don't, don't roll snake eyes. You just thought I said double. You say did say double. Double rainbow double. all the way Jack, across the sky. You said double. double. Come said double. on. Said you'd be given four dice to roll a two D to to hit something, and you still roll all ones. Oh my God, True. Pondo! What happened to you this episode? <laughs> I am tired. I am going. You've savage. become so savage. <laughs> I'm I'm happy I got a nap before this. Ah, oh, Slottle. Ah, oh, Strack. What so what is it I said on Monday? I'm used to it. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> this is also class as partial cover right one, now. Two, three. I'm four, not particularly five. savage, though. It's, I'm sorry, Sid. Here we go. The grasshopper jumps from one side to the other. From any direction, I'm in partial cover. Except from behind. Wait, didn't it just move this turn? I think no. you already moved it this turn, AP, because it nope. was. Yeah. No. Yeah, because the headser was like right here. Oh, you might be right. Fuck. God <laughs> damn it. I was really confused there for a second. That was more than four Sorry, hexes. Sorry, no. Adam. <laughs> All right. We ever recover? I don't know that I will recover. Oh, I'll just do the same thing with the quick draw. I was says, I think you're thinking about the quick One, draw. Two, three, four, five. Do the same thing. You mean move it twice? Go fuck yourself. Chilies, go fuck yourself. If anyone had that Arthur tries to cheat on the show for the bingo. We're not doing that, <laughs> you guys are up, and uh, I need to come up with some fresh verbal abuse to throw at Sid. Sid? <laughs> Let's Damn. just go. Let, no, let's go for lowest common denominator. You miss constantly. Uh, YouTube <laughs> comment section, social justice, Twitter. Here we go. Covered it all. You forgot the nose. Here. I would never say something about your nose. I'd be, I'd be like stabbing myself in the stomach. Wait, what are people saying about your nose? I have a huge schnoz, dude. I mean... I hadn't. I, I have a, I have a very that, German I nose. <clears throat> it was look. I did this one stream where I had cat whiskers, and then no one noticed it until I pointed it out that one of the whiskers was way off. And then everyone was like, "I can't unsee it now. I'm always <laughs> gonna notice that whisker is totally off." Gloss shattered. We need a banana for scale on Sid's nose. Can't you All use right. his glasses? It's our turn to move. It is your turn to move. Yes. Doesn't necessarily matter who, but I guess this is um, a lot about me that I don't notice anything about a person's like appearance and use that as a um, as anything really. Are you virtue signaling right now, Dave? Oh no, that's very passive yeah. aggressive. I have to stop or Pondo <laughs> will get mad. <laughs> I'm not going to get mad. I'm just going to call it out. I don't want you to call it out. I'm not passive aggressive. It's I'm not. Stop saying that. It's very upsetting. Motherfucker, you play a waifu mobile game. As far as I'm concerned, it's you, you're dead to me. That doesn't mean I'm passive aggressive. That just means that I like waifus. Look, I'm looking for things, okay? I'm I mean, fishing. you're reaching there. You're reaching. You're fishing, but you're failing. Sid, did you move oh, by turning? Of... Yes, I did. Okay. There's plenty of fish in this ocean. I just got to find the right one. one. Two, three. Oh, that's a jump. Uh, that's a drop, drop, drop. Four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't even get out of that. He's just going to be underwater this turn. Ooh, well, I can't shoot that guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's good. Right. He's good. I'm, he takes the drop and hits the bottom. and <laughs> But now he's got to like pull guy, himself out. Guy. Okay, Mex. So the dude's like it. in cover right now. We can't shoot him. <laughs> or out of a depth plus two plus water hex. So yeah, he is safe, but he can't fire. 
Of course. I mean, yeah. Can mechs walk along the bottom of the ocean like zombies? Yes. Yeah. They are pressurized. They, yeah, they're they're meant to be in space as well. So. And by the way, if you're underwater and you take a head hit critical and it takes out your life support system, you fucking die instantly. Yeah, you drown to death. Unless seconds. you're a fish. Well, not instantly. I think it'd take a few seconds, but... Minute. Instantly. Listen, if you're beneath the ocean and you aren't oh, pressurized yeah, pressure. and the yeah, pressure slams into you and it's, it's, an it's like 150 atmospheres you crushing your ocean, lungs. You said underwater. Okay, no, he said, can you walk along the ocean? Uh, the floor of the ocean, if you like. Look, we are... <laughs> You guys go. Just right. go. If there yeah. was a big enough bathtub, uh, so and if was lying bad. down in the bathtub. Oh my Henley. god. <laughs> it's either Red or Henley, it's left on our team. Alright, I'm moving our his side. red. It's both. How far can I mean, Red jump? One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb or that's not far enough. It seems uh, like a red. Max, I declared uh four. melee attack on the quick draw. Oh god. Nice move, Rad. Now you've opened yourself to the entire enemy team. One, it, two, three, <laughs> four. It'd be hilarious when Rad comes back. Like, yeah, Rad, you got to make a new character. <laughs> but Rad would do that, though. That's true. That's yeah. what I'll say. I wasn't complaining. You'll about. probably bring in an actual Luchador character next I time. I think what AP is doing is that he's doing whatever makes sense to him, what Rad would do, which is pretty much anything random. <laughs> Or anything. Look, I I mentioned last time that I am not capable of predicting Rad's actions, but I feel like this is pretty coherently things Rad would do. Yeah, it's, this would be something that he would do. <clears throat> He's I from my point of view, uh, all of these guys firing on the Axemen will not work out for them. Uh, he'll probably survive it, and you all are about to launch a withering fire barrage, which brings us to the last person to move, the Merlin, aka. Hans Strauser. What do you want to do? All right. You're like, I, I choose death from above on the grasshopper. I think it's what he's going to do, actually. <laughs> no, I can only I can only go four spaces, so I'm going to go there and melee. I guess that means my right. facing needs to be... You're facing... Page. Yes, that's correct. Right. Right. Yep. Ostrich or is Ostrock? Uh, it's Ostrock and Ocelotl. I can't, I can't, I can't okay. let these, the, 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 these the, foreigners get the best of me, you know? Indeed, indeed. Uh, I want to shoot first then, because I believe everybody's moved. I'm feeling that gra that quick draw is going to have a kind of a bad day. That quick draw uh, is going to fire at the Axemen. I'm shooting at sixes. I, I don't know what and you're doing, because I'm shooting first, but... No, I'm just yeah. keeping that in my head. Okay. Well, is that really what you're shooting at? Two, what three, four... Five, six, seven. Uh, I'll shoot medium lasers in an SRM. Seven, seven, yeah, seven. Uh, laser one. That's a miss. Laser two. Ran. That is a hit. Yeah, run. Um, I ran. Pondo, can you mark right leg Axeman five points of damage? He went one hex. That's one. That's four. Right Plus. Um, SRM four on a ten. Pulse lasers are minus two to attack, so that's sixes for long, as well. So it's all sixes, except for I have done left. the SRMs. Pondo left leg takes two. Left leg. Left leg takes two again. This is a sheet. Who did? Right arm takes two again. Okay, you guys are up. I'm Rad, and I'll go now. Uh, just gonna go ahead and... Darn, doesn't melee always go lost? That's true, but uh, someone talked to me about it, and it really doesn't matter what order you do melee in. Yeah, you can also attack with your we actual I see weapons. 20. Well, I think it matters if, you know, you, you can cave something open. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and AC 20 to start with. I'm shooting at incredibly low numbers because I'm rad. Oh, that's oh the <laughs> my god. Does he have <laughs> edge? I think he has an edge. I'm going to go ahead and re-roll that. Whew, I was going to say that could have gone badly. All right, 20 points of damage to the left leg. 
That's a good place to hit right before you're about to hit somebody. This is a grasshopper. Quick draw. Quick draw. Uh, did that cause a critical? Uh, yes. One. One. Doesn't really have much. Though. I, have, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm having fun. That's the only thing that matters. Well, it's about the tail of Captain. I haven't rolled two sixes in a row. I don't know what we're doing either, so. Okay, now I'm able to find. <laughs> That's the secret to role playing. <laughs> That's a low egg. Leg actuator. I need to figure out if it explodes anything. Okay, so let's see here. I took 20 points of damage, so I'm going to have to roll, and then lower leg actuator is destroyed, means I have to roll again mm -hmm. to see if this guy falls down. Okay, so first it's going to be pretty low, and I'm good, and then it gets higher, and yeah. I think that might be a fail. It's a three to start with. It bumps up to a four because he took 20 points of damage, and then it becomes a five. Okay, so he's a pass. Uh, yeah, he's spot on it. All right. Uh, so the physical weapon attack will happen at the end of the round in its own round. Yeah. So that's Rad jumping in with the axe and slamming into this dude super hard. Uh, I guess I'm up again as the grasshopper. What about his, what about his lasers? He can't fire arm weapons when he's using a physical attack. He can't yeah, fire he... the arm weapons in that arm. He can't, but... Other... Oh, that's true. He does have another arm. He can shoot the, le the large. The hatchet is oh, he can shoot the large pulse, pulse laser? Yeah, that's going to be super easy because it's got a minus two to hit. Very well. Yeah. I mean, he, starts two, he starts at two plus one. Center three. torso hit. What's the damage? Is it eight? Are you sure? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's minus two. So that's a minus two. Ten. Nine. I'm hearing so many different numbers. Is it a nine? Nine. Yeah, inner sphere large pulse is a nine. All right, I've confirmed it's a nine. Okay, I will now fire as the grasshopper, and I will fire on Rad with all of my spectral lasers. Did the grasshopper roll to see standing from the damage? Yes. Outside of crit? that, you mean the quick draw? But yes. For the quick you draw rolled to stay standing from damage, and then you rolled to stay standing from the leg hit. Okay. Yeah, because it's let low for actuating. All right, so. he starts at two. Like He's firing six hexes, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So he's firing medium range uh, for everything. Are these all guys two threes? Yes. Okay. So it's Makes two. Sense. Rad jumped for two, bringing it up to four. He jumped, bringing it up to seven. Medium brings it up to nine. nine. So he's shooting nine. large and then a baffle of mediums. Miss. Miss. Hit. No. Yep. Miss. That'll hit. That is a hit, and that's the last thing to hit. Location ace. Left torso for five points of damage. All right, so the grasshopper sails majestically through the air with its weird antenna head going backwards, uh, landing in the water. Then it begins firing this huge array of lasers, and just one of them hits the Axeman. The Axeman's head turns up to look at it, and then turns back to look at the guy it's standing in front of, and goes into an idle pose to indicate he's about to hit the axe. But he has to wait until his turn comes around. All right, I've taken three turns in a row. Do you guys want to do something? Yeah, I'm going to shoot yeah, the um, ostrich at sixes for everything. The ostrich? Ostrich. 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 It says on there it's ostrich. You know what? Ostrich. It should I be ostrich. ostrich. I like the idea that it's. It is like not an ostrich either. You know, Australians lost the great ostrich war. No, they so didn't. So it. I am rolling at sixes for everything, and I'm going to be firing. What are you firing uh, first? You need to <laughs> declare your weapons. And four medium, pul medium pulse lasers. You're shooting medium pulses is that far for a six? Plans. Okay. Yeah, All right. Plan, How far away are you from that thing? That is my long range for that, for medium pulse. Oh, those would be eights. 
What is it at minus two? Double minus four? two, but if it's long range, that'd be eight. Is it medium for your ER PPCs? Yeah. Two. The uh, pulse long range is four. Minus two is two. So it's the same as medium. Okay. Yeah, you're right. So they're all sixes. Okay. Um, PPCs first. Bringing the dice together. Nope. That's one miss. Nothing special. That was almost two misses. That's a hit. Location six. Uh, right torso. The booty. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> First medium laser. No. Oh boy. You said That's... right torso for the PPC. Yeah. Or fifteen. That's another miss. Stop rolling like me. Wah, 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 wah. That's a brother. <laughs> All right. Oh Your Warhammer's uh, UI kicks on and is like, Warning. State your clan name, Warrior. That hits. Warrior. All weapons will be locked <laughs> until you provide genetic identification. War warrior. War warrior. Warrior. That'd be really bad if you just suddenly locked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That hits. That's, a that's the last. Uh, Medium laser that hits location nine. Okay. Left leg. And that's uh, seven for medium pulses or whatever. Um. Should yeah. be yeah. Uh... Medium pulses are seven. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't go in ten. I'm guessing. He rolled double sixes, so he stays standing, motherfucker. Uh, it looks like he's about to fall over, but then you realize he's literally just just like standing on one leg with his leg up and like doing some sort of weird robotic dance move just to mock you. Matrix. Yeah, it's like a really really slow motion one. Somebody bought the Fortnite dance pack. You know, I was literally about to make that joke. Like, <laughs> one, two, three. Like, oh God, six, seven. I believe that this Hetzer can fire his giant ass fucking gun and he's gonna do that. So he starts at a three. Uh, he ran for four or five. He's shooting at a guy who jumped for two, six, seven, eleven. Uh, so the Hetzer is literally just a giant fucking AC 20 mounted on like a panzer an old school panzer torso and the barrel of the gun starts spinning and then it spits rounds out at high fucking speed looking for an 11 that did not happen <laughs> uh so the axeman just like grabs the grasshopper or the quick draw in front of him and is using him to like block for shells Oh no, we, we, we do it into uh, old school JRPGs, right? He literally goes across the battlefield, drags the quick draws icon in front of him, and then does this motion while the quick draw takes all the hits for him. <sighs> uh, Nailed it, we made it anime. Y'all are up. Okay, who's next? Uh, <clears throat> I want to shoot at the quick draw because it's the it's softer target. But I don't want to steal Merlin's th steal our like allies. You gotta be friends with me. You gotta be friends yeah, with me. So That's I'm not the gonna, I'm not gonna do goal. that. So I was like, no, I'm gonna let him have his glory. So I'm gonna go out there, Ostrock. Uh, he's 11 hexes away from me, so it's medium range. Uh, I start at two. Uh, he only has evasion of one, so it's three. Medium range makes it a five for all four. Turning all four again. Yeah, that's a nice, easy kill. You got this. Uh, Next location, location 10. 10. For 15 points of damage. Okay, left arm. 10. Yeah. I don't think it would. No. Yeah, it's left arm. Oh, it does. It crits twice if it does, but I don't think there's anything. All right, damage. sorry. What's the damage and who's the target? The uh, quick the draw, Ostrock, right? Ostrock, it's 15 damage. Ostrock. Yeah, Ostrock. On the left torso? Left arm. Left, left arm. arm. Uh, that will uh, go internal. That's two crits. Two crits. Uh, I don't think it has anything in the arm, regardless. So sorry, it's fifteen, which means you do seven more. Three, one, two, three, four. Two crits, and there's nothing really useful in the arm, unfortunately for you. That's fine. So just actuators. 
Yeah. Yeah, all his weapons and torsos. It was holding a photo of his family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all his weapons are in its torsos. I'm gonna sit here rolling all night long until I finally get something. Shoulder. There we go. And now we're on. Excellent. I'll go ahead and do the second shot. That'll definitely hit. Oof. Location three. Not right nothing. arm. Right arm. That, that's again nothing. <laughs> I took away his it weapons. It does a crit. Both of them. It does. It crits once. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't do anything beneficial. No. He just can't punch now with one arm. I don't think it was going to punch. All right. Come one back crit, here. You say? All right. PPC one. No. That's double sixes. Five. Right leg. Nah, I'm just. Uh, Wait. I'm gonna reroll that. Get the community chest now. Okay. Um, are you? You're not hitting them on the right side. I'm hitting them in the front. Yeah, in the front. Yeah, it's location it's five. Right leg. It's right uh, leg. I was looking at what he said. Some, yeah, I was looking at something different. Right leg. Sorry. For 10. Right leg for ten. All right. Yeah, like yes. Uh, I saw on this one. I thought uh, it Okay, so uh, he rolled for taking over 20 points of damage and failed, but then re-rolled it and succeeded. Okay. Uh, number two, that barely hits. Location eight, that's... Uh, left torso. torso. Jesus. Same damage. Man, you are Swiss cheese in this nerd. Yeah, it's not great. I mean, it's great, but it's also not great. We we'll call this pulling uh, a Kenneth Cross. That's where you uh, hit everywhere but the center torso all night long. I was I was hoping to just pound through the center torso and hit the ammo. You're like I was hoping to put two Goss rifle rounds through the head area, but couldn't arrange that. <laughs> Hell, even one would have just straight up killed him. You got to do the second one to get the pilot. Is that it? I don't. I can't. I can't. I'm supposed to be good. I can't kill pilots. I pass my turn uh, because my dude is underwater, which means it is now the Merlin's turn. <laughs> I do the following things, Jim. Yes. I lean back and I bring the hurt. Well, punch. you should fire any weapons that you're going to before you do the punch. Yeah. What? Any weapons or the then You can fire a torso amount of weapons before you punch. Yeah. Oh, cool. Or yeah, or and if you're weapon. punching with uh, one arm, you can fire the weapons in the other arm only. Uh, so you going to be shy one of your medium lasers. That's it. No, the medium laser and the flamer have swapped positions. So the flamer is on the arm so that he can do the arm punch flamer attack. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because he punches. So he can literally fire. just fire everything he has. Uh, oh, yeah. So you know, alpha strike. So you, I do the following things. Yes. I, I um I I use all my saved up um, CP and I just go to town. All right. Uh, you should probably not fire the LRMs. They'll be right. nearly impossible. I, I, whatever they are, do consider them not fired. Very well. LRMs are long range missiles. They have a severe penalty to hit at short range. Yeah. All right. So your two hit starts at two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh. So your PBC is a 10 to hit. Everything else is a seven. And your punch to hit is, uh, I think the same is an eight. Okay, so we'll go 10, seven, seven. How many sevens? Let's see here. You have the four following. Sevens. Four sevens. All right, so we'll do 10. Then the four sevens. Uh, the three punch, sevens. Yeah? He he. If the punch hits, the flamer hits with it. Okay. In the same area. <clears throat> All right. So three sevens. Right, so ten, ten and three sevens. So ten first. Yep. Mm -hmm. PPC short range. Does not activate. Uh, nope. Cannot focus okay. the beam. Now laser beams. So sevens. That yes. Hit. Uh, okay. you guys read the locations off for me. Uh, is it a front or a side? That is a front hit. Okay, so location four, it's right arm. Uh, and that was a machine gun? 
So what do machine guns do? Three? What? Medium laser. Medium laser. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Next roll. Yep. Is it hit? Yep. That's uh, also medium laser. Center torso. Center torso. So five center torso. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now you can make a roll to punch, which is an eight. Right. One punch. No. Okay, and now I'm gonna make Rad's roll to axe. Can he use All I wanted to do was punch a dude. I think he did use a machine gun. No, he only used two medium. No, he didn't. I thought he did PPC machine gun medium medium. No, he did PPC machine. He did right. PPC medium medium. Okay, machine. yeah, go ahead. Make that machine gun roll. Get a seven. Yes. That'll hit. What's okay, the damage on a machine gun? Uh, I think it's just three. Okay. What's the location? Right torso. Right torso. No, it's two damage on machine gun. All right, two, two damage. Five. Understood. I'm grateful as a headshot. That will it end dies. out this round. Let's withdraw a dice. Hey, I'm chopped liver, apparently. I don't get to go. Did you not already go? No. no. Man, you should have gone <laughs> earlier, like way earlier. Go ahead and go. You are All chopped right, liver. I'm going to fire on the Ostrock, and I'm rolling sixes. I don't care about you. See, earlier in chat, someone was like, Arthur, you're my waifu. And I'm like, all I'll do is be verbally oh, no. abusive and Five. then neglect you. Sorry. They didn't believe me, but that's 100% my style. Just ask any of my ex-girlfriends. Wah, 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 wah. All right. So first, 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 first alarm. First, who are you shooting at? Because I don't. Hit. The Ostrock. Ostrock. Okay. Ostrock. Hit. First location is right torso. Five to the right torso. Great. One, two, uh, five more to your right leg. I softened that up for you. Okay. Uh, five to the left five torso. To the left torso. And you're, now you're one damage. Uh, yeah, that's the left, left arm. Just <laughs> useless, regardless. Two crit, or it gets oh. a crit though. <laughs> uh, hey, like sorry, how much damage to the left arm? One. One. Okay. Gets a crit, but there's only one thing in that arm. It doesn't even matter. I mean, the, oh, the sorry, the arm wasn't dying. Family, right? No. <laughs> Every time I close my eyes, this porch, I, I gotta get I, later, I, man. All, All right, fire like your second pack. Enormous robot hand and a uh, tiny little photo that, in it. That's that's, that's full twenty. That's full twenty. First hit at the left leg for five. Uh, five center torso. Uh, five to the head. Whoa, really? Yep. yep. Uh, do, do, do. uh. There you go. Fuck. Uh, Steve needs a roll to stay conscious. Yeah, well, I'm gonna double six to see super conscious. Uh, three. Uh, and then last five is the right arm which, again, is nothing. And he's he's really running off the vengeance on the only photo he had of his now. All the thing. components in his arms that have no use. Yeah. And yeah. you almost broke through his right torso in the process as well. That was my grandpa's arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's huh. why he was able to stay conscious because, you know, the, the vengeance that he needs to enact. But each part, each, like, body part of the mech belongs to one family member. Yeah, that we get like a twenty-minute flashback of how his family helped him build this this mech. You know, it's a whole episode. It's a whole episode. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the we, mechs take a time to build. The quick draw opens a tight beam to the archer using a communications laser. Oh, hello there, enemy team. I take it. What can I help you with today? Yes. Would you like to surrender? We have an offer to make. I'm listening. One tuna fish. You let us lives. take the Merlin pilot. We'll cut you in 20% of our contract. <laughs> I have a counter offer for you. I'm leave listening. Us, leave us the grasshopper and the rest of you can quit the field intact. 
will leave you the ostrich. The Merlin pilot stays with us, though. Fine. Very well. I accept. Okay. Yeah. They begin quitting the field. Uh, over open communications, the ostrich pilot begins, like, um, openly questioning his comrades. He's like, where are you guys going? And then the ocelotl appears out of the water behind him like a fucking kaiju just like trips him and forces him down into the water and he's like no hard feelings mate but you're not one of the blood gang oh god uh, yeah your grandpa <laughs> made your mech like a noob so everybody else is backing away slowly <laughs> and the ocelotl is uh sorry the ostrich is like face down in the water and standing up and then notices there's like five people pointing weapons at him I oh, just because like if if you just exit the mech, we'll let you go. Uh, yeah, he, he immediately ejects. <laughs> all right, have a nice day. <laughs> uh, all right. So I mean, the Hetzer and the rest of the mechs begin rolling away as the the pilot of the Ostrich begins running after them. Uh, pull, he's like got a pistol out, is like firing it at the back of their mechs, screaming the whole time. <laughs> yeah, you he gets, acquire he gets the one weak point there, and the 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 quickshaw blows up. As well. Listen, listen, Dave. Fire you, fire you fire. say that shit, but in the text-based um, mech HQ or whatever, that is a shit that can happen. Like a commando with a machine gun can like crit an Atlas's leg, blow it off, and then cause the whole Atlas to explode as it falls yeah, over on itself. If he's lucky enough, he can probably get a hit ride on the Hatsa. <laughs> Wait, is he firing at us? Like no, he's thing? firing at his old comrades. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, you guys have acquired back. a heavily damaged arm busted ostrich. Arms Congratulations. Okay. It's worth about five million C bills minus damages. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and and one slightly singed family photo. <laughs> Man, you are really set on this family photo, huh? Look, it's a good joke, okay? Hey, All right. I mean, we get 100% of the salvage, so that's more than yep. what we got pretty much almost awesome. whole career. Mm -hmm. Hans Strauser, <laughs> you have some decisions to make. These guys have literally saved your life. Uh, the rest of your lance mates begin checking in. Uh, a man named Forrester is just like, Boss, we finally got through to you. Are you doing okay? It's me, Forrester, from the Company of Freemen. Boss, are you there? Boss! Ah, Forrester, it's good to see you. I was trying to remember how to do his voice, so you had to give me like a second. <laughs> oh, boss, I'm glad you're back. Look, I was really worried I was going to get caught in that weird fucking thing that your voicemail does, where it puts me on hold for a long-ass time. You should have the key to get past that. What... <laughs> Why do I have to keep reminding you of this stuff? Uh, I'm sorry, boss. I'm not good with electronics. Every time something bad happens to my mech, it always flips over into being in Spanish. I don't know why. This is what happens when you buy mechs off-world. I told you this. The foreign mechs are not to be used. Understood. I'll get this panther swapped out for something more leery. Duh, you do that. A Jenner. <laughs> so no, that's that's also from... very draconic as well. Yeah. yeah, Jenners are like almost exclusively Draconis Combine. Oh, you can get those anywhere. I mean, you can't get them anywhere, but the Combine's the one who makes them. Uh, and uses them because they're cheap and high damage. Yeah, the, uh, I didn't use mine very efficiently. I got fucking DFA'd by Irby. I mean, all, as yeah. people have said, your your tactics and your mech uh, handling has gotten better over time, for sure. Oh, yeah. It takes me a while to get into, like, board games, except for Warhammer. I was freaking pub stomping up um, Adeptus Mechanicus player with two titans so, easily. Yeah, what do you want to do now, boss? Uh, your, your teammates are coming towards you. They'll be there in a few minutes. You're surrounded by people who saved you. Mm -hmm. Well, it would seem that you have all received what you needed to get from this battle. I will leave you with your spoils. I think that is 
justly fair. Now, out of character real quick, remind me, we're supposed to win him over and, like, take him with us, or...? You are supposed to get him to lead you to the company of free men so that you guys can, like, slaughter them and get information about the organization, the Brotherhood of Cincinnati. Okay. Let's see. Hans, how, before... How, how about this? Merlin, before you quit the field, we were in the middle of a discussion previously. Seems you are a bit disillusioned about some things. I would like to hear more. If you have the time, of course. There is no disillusion when it comes to the patriarchy of this continent. Or, uh, planet. Right? Planet or continent? Uh, both. Both? both? Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. You are either on the wrong side, or you are on my side. I'd rather be on the right side, but I'd like to learn more about your side to see if it is the right side. We have a training program that we send all new recruits to. You are no different from them. You can't expect myself the leader of this glorious uprising to take you under my wing personally just because you show up at the right time, which I intend to investigate, mind you. How about this? We let you and your crew take that Ostrock. I have no need for such foreign technology as this. I mean, you could sell it. We don't really care. You can take that awestruck. Maybe, maybe we can talk sometime. Uh, what is an awestruck? Uh, it's a next? sixty-ton uh, foreigner mech. Heavy. Yeah, it's a heavy mech. It's actually bigger and better than your mech, but uh, it's not. It's not a punching. It's but yeah, it's foreign yeah, right? for sure. Yep. Well, well, the main thing is it's it's just money. It's more money that you can. Just That's sell. true. I mean, you could sell it and buy a better mech. Essentially, I'm handing. Uh, we're, we're talking about handing you four million C bills. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Uh, let me just read over the notes that you sent me about this. Okay. 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 Um. Uh, what is its current status? So it's fully functional. The only thing it's lost is one arm. Uh, but it has lost a bunch of armor. That hasn't interrupted its ability to do anything, but it can't take many more hits before it right. starts being torn open. If you leave this with me, I will do what I will with it. Of course, it's your mech. All right, uh, Arthur, I do the following things. I will walk the Merlin over to the Ostrich. Okay. Um, now, tell me, uh, is there any way that I could uh, scuttle this thing? I'll yeah, you it. could rip out its fusion core. I will do that. All right. As you guys watch, you just Terminator <laughs> rips out the fusion core. Kick it into the ocean. All right, you kick it in the ocean, and several seconds later, there's this, and there's a mushroom cloud. Water covers all of your mechs. Uh, some radiation warnings start going off. It's like warning, minor radiation warning detected. Yeah, they give no outward sign of. I can't wait for all the people in the comment section to be like, "Okay, Arthur, look, the way that the mech engines work, there's no radiation." I'm just. <laughs> Come on, give me something here. It's I want to hear those Geiger it's, counters. It's, it's Spanish it's for radiation. Oh my normal. god. It's Spanish. Um, radiation. So will, the other thing that I will, will send is like, if you are true to finding out what it is that you wish to know about uh, cause, it is very simple. I will be sending you instructions as to whom you should meet from our organization, who will tell you more about what you need to know. However, it will be in a place of our choosing. You understand that you cannot follow me back, and I will be watching, scanning, 
to make sure that you keep your word. I would expect nothing less. Very well. In two Thank weeks from now, make sure that. you head to this location. And I send some coordinates to some yeah. fucking island. I don't know, whatever. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Very well. I'll bring some beer with us next time. So, team, uh, not Hans Strauser. As you return back to your dropship, uh, you get a, a quick text update that Haller is like interrogating a, di- a guy in the, you know, the place where you guys gr- gassed dude to death. Uh, right. All right, yeah. we gotta do something about this kid. Please tell me we cleaned the body out of there at some point. Yes, it's been like an entire fucking year. You clean the body out at some point. There's just this rotted skeleton about three years. All right, we we gotta we gotta do something about the howler. Yeah, it's been about three years since. So howler's howler's interrogating our latest pirate pilot acquisition. So, uh, Haller and his lance fucking destroyed the shit out of the enemy. Uh, they overran an urban mech, uh, a clan vulture, uh, that was completely scrapped. Uh, uh, look at you guys. Uh, uh, an archer and a hunchback. Wait, it, did we get parts from the vulture? Or was you, it got, you got parts from all of the mechs, but the vulture is completely gone. Oh, fuck. Got him. Oh, uh, oh, it would have been nice to get some pot pieces from that, but oh well. Uh, anyway, we change cameras around, or are we fine? No, we're fine. You were always last. The last one. Is- yep. Okay. So, uh, when you guys get back into the dropship, you know you you've been in a fight. It's been hot in your cockpits. You're sweaty. You uh you do the hot blooded thing where you slowly slide down the side of your mech and it's like hot blooded check in to see the camera zooms in on all of your butts uh and it does it does like quad butts right like twenty four it splits into four different butt areas to zoom in on your spandex butts then it zooms out and you guys do your your sexy strut down in slow motion towards the interrogation room and when you open it up howler's got his like hands on the table and he's like damn it hitman tell me what i want to know where are the rest of the pirates hitman's like got a purple eye just all fucked up he's missing a tooth you son of a bitch all right. i just stand there and watch for a second sir what are you doing here oh i thought i'd Come watch your handiwork. This isn't me. That's how we found him when he got out of the cockpit. He had an ejection problem. Has he been forthcoming at all? He hasn't, but don't worry. I know this man. He helped raise me. Howler then, like, cracks his knuckles. The dude sitting at the table is, like, arms crossed. He... In his chains, completely unimpressed, like, huh, can't break me. Howler immediately ask, backhands uh, his ass. Can I ask uh, can go and say, um, Doctor, if you wouldn't mind lending a hand. Oh, with pleasure. I turn and walk away. My good. So, so I, quick I, question. I'm still there. It's like, all right, all right, let's, let's be reasonable. Nope. Don't need to be smacking a prisoner. Bandita. Yeah. Bandita. So when you when you say that, Howler's Howler puts a, his left hand on Hitman's shoulder and is like, "That's right. We wouldn't want to do anything." And then he jackhammers a sucker punch his right hand into the dude's stomach. Dude just like leans forward and Howler pushes him forward at the same time. Howler, yeah. Can't order me around. Warrant um, officer. AP, quick question. Not in my chain what of you- command. What is Howler's interrogation? It was well, definitely not a positive number. Oh, okay. Okay. I like peek my head back in. Um, Howler, a word, please. Doctor, take over. Bandito, would you do me a favor? Sir, I'd prefer to continue the interrogation. Like I said, I know this man. I can break him. Just give me some time. Bandito, can you Howler, get... a word, please. Yes, sir. And I just, I just smile, just calmly, and my head just vanishes back around the corner. 
that comes that. out and it gives you the shittiest salute in the entire world, <laughs> standing at attention. Well, at least you're saluting. That's something. Yes, sir. I would never disobey orders. I'm sure that the captain has a very good reason for bringing me away from that. Step down the hallway for a moment so the uh, prisoner can't hear us. Of course, sir. Thank you. He begins doing parade march down the corridor that you've indicated. It's fun. All right. Now, listen. I'm going to let the doctor take lead in this interrogation. Not that I don't doubt your ability is to be able to beat the holy living dog shit out of that prisoner in there, but the doctor does know what he's doing. And this person, while you know this person, you also have to remember this person knows you. It is better for us to be able to get information out of him when he is dealing with an unknown quantity. And quite frankly, the doctor is, he's very good at this sort of thing. Yes, sir. Might I be dismissed so I could go see about my duties? You may. All right. He gives you a shitty ass salute again and punches the dropship wall in front of you and then goes, ah, fuck. I was not smart, son. That's correct, sir, he says as he spits and walks away. Uh. All right. Make your interrogation roll. What do you, I mean, here's my question before you even do this. What, what do you want to learn from this guy? Interrogation wise. Take no, I don't know. I don't want to know that. I don't, I don't, that's no, 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 uh, no, I, don't, I, no, we're not going to discuss it. I'm not literally, we've done this. A nice central back I, no, over five years, I've stuff. had this happen constantly where people are like, I want to do some really no, in-depth interrogation. if it's probably illegal or not. I was yeah. going to assume. It's going to be more, uh, the pharmaceuticals. It, it's going to be more suggestive than it is actually illegal. I will take off my clothing one piece at a time. Not that, yeah. Until you tell me what I need to know. Top I'm wearing maybe five to six pieces. Just letting you know. uh, Saxophone music starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like going to be a doctor's bag filled with torture equipment, and I'm just going to be asking him questions as I lay bit by bit out of it. All right. Break. Make your roll. Okay, I'm starting I to think that you're less close... of a doctor and more of a... Mm. I'm a better doctor Look, than I am an Let me tell you something, Dave. Let me tell you something. I learned from several friends that went into uh, medical school that you can be a dentist anywhere, but you can also be a torturer in a third world country. Okay, I am doing this at a plus four. Okay. They actually uh, have like 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 personal skills in this game? Yes. Wow, you 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 fail to I interrogate will him. I spend my edge three roll. Very well. That's a I five on the it. die, by the way. Yeah, I know. Uh, five on the die. Yeah. That's yes. Then plus four. That would make that a. Nine. Just when the dice come up with a two and a three, that is a five on the die. I looked right at Pondo when I said that. <laughs> oh my God, it's, it's, it's even worse. It's a four Bandito's on the die. Here. Bandito's here. Could he assist? I'm not proficient. You would skills, still so be failing. No, I mean, just edge to help me roll. Oh my god, you're. I'm not <laughs> spinning an edge. You, you turn to him. Can you at least, like, proficient to at least be same? I don't... Is this guy just not saying anything? Yeah. I mean, yeah. no matter what you do to him, he's just completely unfazed. He's Hitman, bro. He's Hitman. Uh, I'm pretty sure you needed, like, a 10 or something. Yes, you needed a 10. I should have just boosted it, fuck's sake. Okay, you run out hey, of, sure. uh, you run out of edge. No yeah, matter next. what scary implements you put on the table, no matter what questions you ask, he just never talks. Occasionally he makes a grunt or smiles whenever you do something cute, but... Hmm. I will probably try again next time. Mm -hmm. Is there... Is, are we... Do we have a police force or something now, technically? Yes. Like, you have really Marines on board. Any. We so, don't really care like, about any of the information this guy has because our team hired them. So yeah, it's. I mean, I, I mean, we could probably like go to their place and maybe take their stuff, but eh. So I'm gonna walk back in there care. after the doctor fails his interrogation. I give him that you failed me yet again, star screen look. He's All right. buttoning up his shirt, and man. I set a cup of water in front of uh, Hitman. And I, and I just pull up a chair and sit down in front of him and stare at him for a now second. Now, I want to remind you, you have hatred of pirates. Actually, 
Cardi B. <laughs> Sid's just like, how deep is my hatred, and how much pee do I have? That hatred of pirates got got uh, changed to hatred of clans. Remember? Oh my god! You did that. I don't remember doing that, but that's fine. I mean, regardless, ah. I think we should just throw him in the brig and leave him there for. I was going to offer him a job. Again. I I vote we just throw him in a brig and leave him there forever. I'm going to offer him a job. Oh, God, God, we don't God, need God. more pirates. What kind of job can you offer me? Well, you're a mech pilot, aren't you? I am a mech pilot. Some have oh, said that first. I'm the most average urban mech pilot in the entire galaxy. <laughs> Perfectly <laughs> average in every way. Is that like really crappy or does that make No, dumbass, that's not really crappy, it's average. Do you understand? Do you know what average means? It means not crappy nor great. Does that mean he's a free free or free two, at least? I am not numerically defining him. He's telling you what he believes he is. I mean you don't just ask a girl for her advantage, you know. Yeah, you don't ask a lady how old she is or how much she weighs. It's just not yeah, like mental issues, anything, <laughs> PTSD. He's a no more than the target. normal mech pilot. Look, he's probably in the same boat. Why same don't you level middle. with me? What kind of position are we looking at? Mech pilot. <laughs> in what lance? Probably defense. You want to offer me a job defending your base. <laughs> With what mech? Do we still have the urban mech? We'll work that out later. You got roughed up a bit. You need some time to recover from your injuries anyways. But you held out. You, re- you kept the information of your compatriots safe, even under Howler beating the holy living dog shit out of you and the doctor's careful ministrations. That shows a person with a bit of integrity. I want a pardon from the countess. All crimes. Even the weird ones. You get it in writing and I'll agree to join your company. With provisional status as a mech warrior. It's healed up. We'll put you through your paces. See what you can do. Test your skills. And if... At that time, we still want to accept you. I'll see about that pardon. How does that sound? I'm not doing anything without the pardon. Sounds like another weird trick. Right, I heard enough from that. But you have a shot at freedom here with a good paying job with people who you can actually trust to not abandon you for a change. It's just like, I have no reason to trust anything you're saying right now. You show me a pardon and we'll start talking. We can just show me you can fit in, and we'll see about that pod. If you oh, like that, you can, well, let me tell you, you if you can like get that, a wild dog like up. Howler fitting in here, a socially adjusted individual such as myself will fit in just fine. Well, that's great. Show us that. Then. That kid is an animal. I I can full heartedly I agree. Disagree. With that. He I killed disagree. a man <laughs> with his teeth just to take his mech. That sounds can like you, an animal to me. Can you play nice with how? Oh, sure. You put me on the other side of a continent, we'll be fine. All right, I'm just... <laughs> I think I started, like, pulling... It was, like, one moment, start pulling the captain out of the door, close the door behind it. Sir, I'm going to level with you. Personally, I'd, I'd rather not us hire another pirate. Oh, we're not hiring him. I'm, what are you doing? I'm trying to get information out of him. He's not going to give us information. You already failed an interrogation check. You can't, you can't just be like, <laughs> no, all right, I show up and I also no, interrogate. I'm not trying right now. I'm okay. lining things up to right. a later attempt. <laughs> all right. Okay. So now that we're friends and not enemies, how about those secrets? The other issue is even if... Sid has started to cast a uh, charm person on this guy. 
Yeah. <laughs> the other issue is it seems like this guy's not going to play well with Haller. Not that. Oh, I know. Like I said, I have no intention of accepting him into our unit. That's fair. We also probably should, at some point, figure out what the hell to do about Haller. Oh, absolutely. Probably sooner rather than later. Heavy seven line is taking him under his wing. Hopefully, he can get him straightened out. If not, we may that's have still to a thing. Him. I thought you gave up on that. <laughs> not entirely. Give it time. Just give it a little bit more time. If it doesn't get straightened out, we can always put Howler down and take his mech, like I had originally intended to do. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where do, Where do you can't... guys think? What? Let, let's back up here for a second. I'm confused. Where do you guys think Howler did something wrong in this situation? <laughs> I'm just mean in general. Okay. The whole last. Hans, are we the bad guys you. now? Yeah. <laughs> are we the baddies? <laughs> I mean, I don't know when we changed our flag to a skull and crossbones, <laughs> but you know, like, I think we're the baddies now. Sir, I want to pretend that I didn't hear the whole put him down thing part and just think about just putting him in like a smaller, like, office job. <laughs> Space pirate turns cleric. <laughs> he could be salvaged as a mech pilot. I would rather do that because he is talented at what he does. He's so talented that you allowed him to go back to work as a lance leader. But now you're uh, like, maybe we should kill him and bury him in the desert. How about I, mean, I me, trust him at running always... exactly one third of my unit, but also I could kill him at any moment. Well, for me, this is always an option with NPCs, you know, so... That's how you yeah. see life, player characters and non-player characters. Your char you, your character is literally insane and believes himself to be the center point of a story. All right. <laughs> Look, that's a, that's a hot well, take angle. Maybe it kind of is at the moment. Maybe <laughs> we don't worry sensor. about putting him as a mech pilot for quite some time. We need, get, we need to get his head on straight first, and then we can see about returning him to duty. Uh, he did, apparently, he did very well out in the field today. But he has he... some emotional issues. He's got some anger issues, which is not uncommon for people of his age, especially considering the line of work that we're in. <laughs> Thanks back to himself. <laughs> I like the idea. It's like, the, like Sid's character and this Howler character are like the exact same age. <laughs> No, no so this character is like almost 20 years older than this guy. Yeah. Not that old. He fought in the War of 39, which is almost 10 years ago. Yeah. I think it was the mid 30s. Yeah, this kid's like 18. I think it was like 15. Right, you're like 12 yeah. years older than I'm sure. I think Whatever. It was 15, actually. Whatever. All right. He's young. It's the whole, I don't know, last time he just went completely bonkers, and now I'm hearing him He did, but he just lost, he did, but he lost a lance mate, and that's actually a very telling thing, you have to remember that, he's been with us for a while now, he's beginning to see some of these people as potentially family, and when he loses one, and a young person like that, with very little direction, has lived a very rough life, is going to react strongly and violently, until he becomes accustomed to such things. It's a bit to growing up. When he snaps in the raw situation where he gets others killed in the process. Oh, trust me, I'm worried about that too. I, I don't, or maybe we should just take, I'm saying that maybe we should think about taking the affirmative action and maybe take them out of said mech and out of said position of leading them. It might behoove us to think about that. Before it's easier to treat something. I would before. rather have a discussion with the four of us before we made a decision such as that. I don't know if I don't know if Gold has been here the entire time. I'd, I'd imagine he was, but that's oh fine. yeah, I was just skulking around the outside. The right, you're, you're just being in the sure. background, Heavy Seven is uh, in Hawaiian print pants, not wearing a shirt. He's got like 12 marines following behind him. They're all Still carrying the luchador mask. Yes, they're all carrying a boar on a pole and they're all like jumping with it for some reason. And he's just like, hop, 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 hop. Well, that didn't take him long at all. 
<laughs> wow. You gotta work the core. You, know? you gotta work your core. That's just it. They go past you in the corridor that's not even wide enough for two people. Like the the raw boar meat is getting pressed up against your bodies as they go past. It smells fucking horrible. It's gonna taste good later though. Alright. Sorry, sir. We'll get done with this real quick. Keep moving, soldiers! Goddamn Marines. They move past the conversation. That one's too bad. We'll, we'll talk about it later. I want to pick up some of my pride after uh, being denied by a 15, 18 year old about orders. Yeah, he did that, did he? Uh, he obeyed all of the orders that were given to him in this situation. But yes, not by Pondo. That's fair. But Pondo That's isn't his superior officer. They're not in the same chain of command and they have the same rank. That's true. But he did listen to me. Yes, You're his did. superior officer and you are above him in rank. He did go dumb he that. Look, Rad will come back and be like, no, Without Pondo, argument. you literally could say nothing to him in a military situation. Rad will come no, back no, and back right. me on this he one. He was in the right. He's in the right in every step of the way. Except that part where he punched the dude in the stomach and then forced him yeah. over to punch him even harder. Yeah, no, that was... But you guys literally gassed the dude to death, so I don't even know where you get off on that. I didn't gass anybody to death. I didn't gas yeah, anyone. Yeah, none of us here gassed him. It was all... Look, guys... <laughs> minute... Oh, that might have been Hans, sorry. Chat, really sorry. chat has been fucking <laughs> roasting you guys for a while, where you guys are like, he's a bad dude, and chat's just like recounting all the horrible things you people have done. Yeah. <laughs> The doctor doesn't deny anything. Heard, someone says I murdered children. I haven't really murdered any children. It was all in combat. Teenage girls. It was all in combat. Yeah. You yes. helped kill another teenage girl in uh, Issei Collision. That was a <laughs> different... That was, that a was different. in combat. <laughs> <laughs> it was a combat. To be fair, she was choking the one buddy to death, but, you know, that's spoilers. That was also, yes, in combat, so... It's rough. It's a rough I life. Anybody. Look. <clears throat> Regardless, I need a promotion, damn it. <laughs> Even if you went I'll to a higher that. rank, you still wouldn't be higher. You still wouldn't yeah. have anything to do with. You're like, God damn it, sir. Put me in charge of Haller. I want to be able to tell him what to do. You would have to become the Lance commander of the second Lance and we'd have to demote Haller. That's how that would work. He's in the set. You're, you're a mech pilot in the first lance. He's a I'm almost commander of the second lance. <laughs> technically, you know, technically, he could give you orders. Yeah, no, I know. He's completely <laughs> right. I do it all along. Well, no, we're all warrant officers as well. So Yes, that's the you're same all the rank. same rank. But he's the same you. rank, but he, his position is higher. Yep. Yeah. All right, look, we could argue about this for days, but... What do we want to do here? Rod wasn't here. Right, what's next on the agenda? We're just probably going to put that guy in jail. Uh, I feel like we get some shots of... Oh, no. Here's what happens next, right? You have uh, the Countess's new base on uh, Kolovrati. We get the first shot of it. Um, it's like a mountain chateau that has a dropship uh, landing area built onto the side of the mountain below the estate. And so, like, the dropship is there, and all of your mechs and repair bays and some support facilities for the estate are there. Uh, we get the Countess coming out in the new outfits that all of the naval officers and ratings will be wearing. So she's been explaining to all the members of the unit that to be a Countess, but also be a mech warrior commander and a mercenary, she has to set herself apart fashionably. And so all of the pilots and ratings now wear like 1800 blue navy sailing uniforms with like huge feathered hats and like rough spawn with giant ass fucking gold buttons and shit. She's wearing this saber at her side with her eye patch. She looks totally bitching as hell. Everybody looks really good. Prince looks like she could be a dude in the outfit. Like it is. It's so close to her regular clothing, and she looks like a really handsome dude. And she's just like, looks good on me, right? Bandito, right? Right? Super androgynous? Can't even tell, right? I'm going to pick up so many dudes with this. 
<laughs> so many gay boys. Uh, it's going to be great. I know, you're turned on, right? I know you are. No. The Russians pop around the corner and like, we put her up to it! <laughs> uh, one question. Just... <laughs> Can I wear my regular hat? Yes. Yes. Right. No, no, it's only for the naval people. So only oh, on the okay. drop ship. That's fine. Do you get a special dispensation? Just put some feathers <laughs> in the hat. I don't care. Yeah, no, it's not always the wearing it. It's for the, the. So in the background, Prince and Haller are having a fight where they're just having their teenage yelling contests. Uh, you, Sir Harridan, uh, get your own wing at the estate. Excellent. It's it's like yeah. a off, off building or something. You know, it's got like three rooms, but it's your knight's quarters. Well, it's a little bit smaller than my fam the wing I had at my family estate. But, uh, oh, poor you. <laughs> are you, like, helping to move shit in? <laughs> yeah. You it's dropped like the, the box on the floor, there's a breaking oh, noise? I dropped the box on his foot. <laughs> oh, sorry, it slipped. Oh, my, my mistake, God, sir. <laughs> I, just dropped a bo- I just dropped a box on his other foot. I like step on his cape to like pull him backwards and make a fall backwards. Like my well. sword comes halfway out of its sheath. In the background, Heavy Seven's just opening your liquor cabinet and testing out <laughs> everything. <laughs> Munching on like a pot. We're all just gonna move in. <laughs> Do we get our own rooms at least? I'm oh, no. in the regular barracks uh, yeah. at the dropship <laughs> bay, not on the estate. Yeah, that's fair enough. How, how many how many rooms is my wing? Three. Three rooms. Yep. One's a bedroom, mm-hmm. and then you got two other, like a kitchen, dining area combination, and then like an empty room. For your man, like game. an office. I mean, it's got uh, the only thing in there is like an armor stand and a scabbard hold. That's it. So I'll get it. I'll get it decked out as an office, but there will be like zones for my lance mates like the bar for heavy seven and and whatever comfort items the others would you're turning it into a rumpus room yeah basically okay all right okay pool table Uh, and all that even though i have a desk with my computer and all that shit i feel like this is a good place to stop dave Uh, thank you so much for joining us as hans i'm glad you got to do at least one jumping flaming punch bullshit yeah kick. yeah i mean you got you got it so much involved in there did you enjoy the system um it's very hard for me to um enjoy like because oh, so a little bit of heads up here arthur asked me to play a particular character that's true i did um and it's um it's very hard for me to um because I, I like to you know play characters that i that i sort of come up with right so it was, it was particularly hard for me to get into this character because arthur literally did an info dump on me he's like Bleh. you know just sort of gave me all this stuff about this character about how he's supposed to be what his what his motivations are all that sort of stuff so that aspect of uh the, of the game was very hard for me to You're get like into. arthur i'd come back and play again if i got to write my own fucking story god damn it exactly yes that's fine um, all right and uh in terms of the mechanics of the game i um it's very hard to do cool things like the i was talking about this in the break um but uh, like it's it's very hard because it's a war game right it's very hard for me to like uh, say all right arthur i pick up a uh tree and use it as a baseball bat on this on this neck right yes that is a thing that is hard like, to do it, you know what I mean? Like it's hard to do like the rule of cool a little bit, but um, yeah, add so, flair and everything to it. Yeah, right. Because um, you know it is just a, a game about moving miniatures around a table to do damage and stuff. So mm-hmm. it's it's very hard to get that that cool because that's that's what I love about role playing games is just being able to do the cool stuff that you want to do. But other than that, I. I it's a functional game. Um, there's a lot of in between stuff. I think the game worked a lot better when we didn't have those miniature hovercrafts everywhere. In my opinion, <laughs> like once we once we actually got down to like sh- like dealing the mechs. With stuff against yes the mechs, it was a lot more fun. One hundred percent. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, 
I will invite you back for some guest spots in season three, and you'll be able to sure, write your own yeah. character. I won't just be like, Dave, you have to play a super Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know it's sure. like oh dave come play this game it's like but you're a nazi in this one it's like okay here's, cool. here's the thing i would have actually got the interrogation if my uh charisma was uh zero instead of a minus one that's rough that's rough because my thing's an actual plus five but i've got minus one in my link modifiers i also have that problem sometimes where i would have got a roll if my stat was one point higher and i was one away I should have just added instead of freaking rerolled. That's true. Oh, well. If I knew, if I could have known what the freaking thing was, it would have helped, but no, you wouldn't have let me. English, you got some uh, outro stuff to tell us? Yeah, I am English Woodkip. You can find me on Twitter and Twitch as English Woodkip. You can also find me on Office Discord. You can message me there. I will always answer as soon as I see it. I stream occasionally and randomly. I streamed earlier today, like I said at the start. I play a variety of different games, mainly MMOs or strategy games. And my week's, my week's been pretty hectic, but hopefully I can get back into a streaming mood and pattern again. Sid, what do you got? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and hanging out with us. This was a lot of fun. Um, I managed to get almost a kill. I got a quarter of a kill. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> and I managed to hit with some missiles, which doesn't happen for me very often. Oh, what I love is that like you... are going towards that kill. You, know, you captured a surrender a back. Of... And then you gave it away to a dude that immediately trashed it. Well, yeah. it was it was it was banking it was, on was, earning his trust so we could complete our objectives. Honestly, that I didn't care about that mech at all. It was a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, 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 it was money, but I'm like, okay, well, if he wants. In the to, long run, it is negligible. I'll play with it. Yeah, in the long run, it's negligible. Yeah. So because that's we also have to, totally spend, fine. to get the full price of it, we would also have to repair it. Yes. Uh, but, as well. Yeah, so I had a, I had, like I said, I had a ton of fun. Uh, we're going to be back. I'm going to be back this Monday with Arthur for more Cannon Coal, and uh, so that's that's going to be fun. I'm going to pick, get picked on and guilt tripped even more on Monday, and then next week again more Battle Tech. This weekend I have my parents visiting, so the content still won't be back to full speed quite yet. Um, but I do plan on getting one, at least one, hopefully two videos out this weekend. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel for that, youtube.com slash Sid Alpha. I've also got a new series that I'm going to be working on where I'm going to be analyzing and critiquing in-game monetizations and microtransaction schemes of different games. And so I'll be hopefully getting my first victim for that up on Sunday. <laughs> um, can can, can, the, can the, a good game be the city seal of approval? Uh, be the what seal of approval? The city the city seal, seal of approval. Yeah, <laughs> never heard of this. Hmm. I'll tell you what. You uh, get somebody <laughs> to design that for me, and I'll consider using it. <laughs> I have no idea what that would look like. <laughs> I think you know, just like a stamp or something. Like you know, remember the old Nintendo seal of approval? Yeah. Oh yeah, that. the gold stamp that would go on your SNES games. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, like I would... as in Sid Alpha approves that this is an okay monetization model. There you go. Boom. Yeah, hopefully I'll find some, but most of them I think will probably fail that. <laughs> but, you know, with that, I would also need an epic fail stamp or something. Mm. So. It's called the EA. Sliding scale. I could, I could probably get yeah, it. It's, it's if I had to like programs. Not approved. The yeah. EA stamp of failure. Is... <laughs> no, I mean, you I do know. the Sid Sid stamp of approval and then the EA stamp of approval. So it's microtransactions. Be like, oh yeah, very EA heavy approval. microtransaction support. <laughs> EA stamp of approval. <laughs> you probably can't reference EA directly, so you just say it's in the game. Stamp of it's in the game. <laughs> and, you know, and if it's like really glitchy and it doesn't play well at all, and it still has microtransaction in it, you use Ubisoft. 
There you go. Wow. Hey. All right. Just Look, bad. Pondo, let's go to let's go to your outro. Uh, I'm trying to think of something really passive aggressive to say to you. Just keep it going, but I don't have yeah. anything. You don't got anything? That's yeah, it could be verbally abusive, but I think I'll pass that I, too. I, I don't care. <laughs> hey, I'm Pondo. I'm Pondo the Mad. Uh, you can catch, I do streams and game stuff. I've been busy lately, so I haven't really had time, but maybe next week. Uh, if you want to catch up my stuff, I have YouTube. What's, everything's all over there. It's youtube.com slash Pond of the Mad and whatnot. I stream occasionally. It's twitch.tv slash Pond of the Mad. And you, you nice. pretty much only catch me here on Thursdays at the moment. I've tried to get with stuff with AP, but it just hasn't been working out yet. It'll happen. I mean, we did a sick collision. I'll finish working on it at some point when I have sleep. I can help you, AP. Just let me, just let me finish it. Just let me help. Just let me get started let on starting help. it. <laughs> Never. Never. My God, man. Do we, have we done everybody's outro so far? Um, Mine. Sits. I think we need to get a Henley. Pondos. Henley? We didn't do Henley? Henley, let's do your outro. I like we uh, did, but we didn't. Um, former full time streamer, now full time uh, life liver. <laughs> I don't know. Dog father? <laughs> Dog father. I like that. Yeah. Um, by the way, anyone who actually considers him, so, like he says, this dog is my son, is crazy. Like, yeah, crazy. I really never got that one. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. But um, yeah, you can you can find all the archives that we have for the role playing stuff because I'm really proud of that shit. By the way, like um, I, I like it's the type of stuff that I would be more than willing to uh, you put on a CV or something like that as a, as as rule of a successful, um, you know, use of uh, social media and stuff like that. So you should definitely go check it out. Um, you can find all the links on from my Twitch channel because it's. Yeah, twitch.tv slash Henley. Real easy. Um, and I think, uh, Arthur, are we good for Wednesday next week? Or what's, do you know what's going on there at all? Or I have no idea whether I can even stream for the next week or not. I won't know yeah. until tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Well, either way, I'm on uh, Arthur's New Game Plus show on that normally goes up on Wednesdays. Probably, you know, stay tuned to see whether it's coming up next week. But that show is a good fucking time. It is. It is a. Uh, if you watch the show, you'll have a good reason to harass me privately eight or ten yeah. times a day. <laughs> yeah, no, that that is a fantastic show, and you should definitely go check that out. And um, I'm really excited to keep playing that game. So yeah. All right, this is AP Gaming Real. I'm Arthur Perkins. Follow, like, subscribe, talk about us to your friends. That's the kind of stuff we like. Mm -hmm. You know, sit down. Thanksgiving's coming up. Sit down, talk about favorite episode here's your homework chat youtube comment section who's your favorite character over both seasons hans yeah hans is pretty good i really don't think hans is going to be very far <laughs> up there did you see his uh you know dfa hans might be above the dude that uh the elemental that rapier shot a rocket at while doing wow. a bike trick but only barely it's oh it's only going to I bet the top two is either going to be Rapier or I don't see how that's possible. Rad. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like Rad will probably win the popularity contest. Probably. Oh yeah, I gotta do Rad's outro. I'm Rad, I'm Radosaurus. I don't do anything on the internet. Uh, I do art commissions, but only for Arthur. I swear to God, one day I'll actually finish my commission sheet, but Arthur just gives me money and uh, I don't know, I just don't say no to him ever for no apparent reason. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Radosaurus to look at all the stuff I do. Uh, most of the art I make, I never post on Twitter anymore, so I don't know why I have one that I never use. Yeah, Twitter's hard to use. Uh, like, I I write tweets like I write tweets all the time, but then I'm just like, nah, and delete them. Like I do that all the fucking time. It's just how it works for me. Maybe I should just like throw caution to the wind and just throw that shit out there, but. I've been throwing out some shitty tweets occasionally. I'm just like, I swear to God, I'm not a tsundere. It just Great depends tweet. on... That was a tweet I made a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Aim at. Just, I will say, just be careful at who you aim at stuff at. All right. Uh, I'm Radosaurus, and I'm out. Watch me whip. Watch me nae nae. <laughs>